Hello game designers, my name is Kari, and today I'll be showing you how to make a jump animation in MakeCode. Um, as you can see on the screen that I have created a Flappy Bird clone. Uh, however, it does not have any animations to it. I want to change that. So I'm going to go into the animations tab and pull out this block right here. Animate my sprite frames with the gray block uh, with the time interval loop. Pull that out. Put it in the prompt or the uh, the command for the character flying. And I want to change. I want to go back to the character, the user character, and make sure uh, what the what, what the variable is for that uh, sprite. And I set it to user. So I'm going to scroll down, click my sprite, select user. Take note of the starting sprite, its position, its uh, what its image is. All right. Once I have that memorized, go down to frames like that, and here I'm gonna start making the animation for it. So I'm gonna go to gallery. And I'll scroll down until I find the bat, and it's right there. So here is the starting animation. The sprite is already gonna be on that picture once everything you know boots up. So I'm gonna go for the frame right after. So I'm gonna go with this one because it's like a kind of an anticipation for the flap down. So I'm gonna click it, bam, it's right there. Uh, once I have that down, I'm gonna press this plus button, which adds a, another frame to the small animation. Uh, go back to gallery and find the bat I want to click next. I'm gonna go with this one, so it's actually going with the swipe with the flap of the wings, and go with the animation play view or preview you can see it's just moving it's just twitching it's getting ready to flap its wings but it hasn't actually gone you know full flap so I want to add more more uh, frames to it so I'm gonna go back down to plus press that gallery and add in the down swing look at the preview you can see the flap but it's kind of jarry so I need to find like a middle ground for it to bring it back up to its neutral position. So, plus one more time, gallery again, and we'll pick one. Mm. I'm gonna go with this one again. Go to the preview. It looks pretty good, pretty solid. Now I'm gonna edit the interval between the frames. It's uh, measured in milliseconds right now. So uh, I wanna half that and make the flap a little quicker. So I'm gonna type in 250, press enter, click away from it, and you'll see it's going a little faster. Right, I like that. So I'm gonna hit done, and it's right there. Uh, the loop, you don't want to press the loop right now because once you, if you, if the loop's on and you press the A button, you'll see in the example I have, it'll just keep flapping if I ever survive. I want it, the animation to play every time I press A, not once I press A. So I'm go back, turn the loop off. Right? Play the game again. Every time I press A, the bat's gonna, you know, make a flap to jump. Now, I'm not liking the speed, so I want to speed it up, and I'm going to make it uh, about test out 100 millis uh, millisecond milliseconds. So I'll go back to play. It looks like a proper flap. If I can get past, the there we go. Yeah, proper flap. You can keep changing if you want. Uh, just keep messing with it until you get it just right uh, that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial thank you for watching if you want to learn how to implement a jump mechanic into your game uh, I recommend looking at Tyler's video or sorry Tyler's video on uh, jumping gravity it's multiple parts so be around or uh, make sure to catch all of those uh, have a nice day and enjoy making your game